you still hear whatever your usual noise is but whatever right so like the first month after he was born i couldn't go upstairs because if you don't know it's bad to go up and down the stairs after you give birth so i had to sleep downstairs in the living room we had like this big um it's like a bed couch that's where i used to sleep with with my baby i just remember one night like i was there by myself my mom it was literally the only night that i was alone and I, I had told my mom like you know what i'll be fine go get some rest and leo had to go to sleep early because he was working so he was upstairs as well so everyone was upstairs except for me so i remember i was about to fall asleep all of a sudden like i go into sleep paralysis and basically what it is it's when your sleep your body is asleep but your mind is awake is how i could describe it so you can't move although you're aware that you're like okay you can't move you're literally paralyzed from your whole body so that happens to me and i start realizing what's going on and right away i start freaking out because i can't move and so i'm still dreaming but I feel myself that I'm awake. Like I know I'm awake, but I'm still in a dream. I don't know how to explain it. That's just how I explain it. I look towards the stairs and I see a shadow and I'm thinking like, who is that? Like, cause I still wasn't fully aware. I was still kind of half asleep. I'm like, who is that? And I can't move, mind you, this whole time I'm like paralyzed. Like I can't move, but I look and I just see a shadow. So, then i hear the front door close and then that's when i, I it's the weirdest thing you guys because like your eyes are closed but then when you actually open them it's like oh shit like i was you know what i mean I hear the door the front door of the house like close so then that's when like everything just stopped and like i was able to move and i sat up and i was like what the fuck like and i'm looking and no one is downstairs that happened and it freaked me out because i knew that someone opened the door no one else heard it i saw a shot like it was just really creepy right i let it go i was like you know what i'm super freaking tired like i'm just you know having crazy dreams it's fine at this time he was not going to sleep easy at all i was struggling so hard to put him to sleep so someone had told me that white noise puts babies to sleep so I would go on YouTube and I would look up white noise. That's it. And I would play white noise for him and he would go to sleep so easy. It was the only thing that would get him like to stop crying immediately. I always played white noise for him because it was the only thing that worked. Well, a few weeks go by and I keep having these like really, really like just vivid nightmares if you want to say and i'm just even more exhausted because it's like every time I, I go to sleep like i dream some creepy shit and i see something and like it was just getting ridiculous and i was getting sleep paralysis like every night and so i was exhausted as you can imagine and i was just like what is happening and i would pray you guys i would try everything and like it just it wouldn't work so i started getting anxiety attacks and my mom um would make me tease that night because she said it was for the same thing because i was like sleep deprived well one night comes along and at this point me and ziki were finally sleeping upstairs because i was able to move more so this night comes along it's a normal night i put him to sleep so the way the rooms were i'll take a picture just so you guys could understand was we had a bathroom and then it was my our room and then the room next to it it was an empty room but it was technically Zeke's room because in there he had his diapers and his clothes and all of that it was just an extra room i would go into that extra room every night before he went to sleep and i would grab diapers extra clothes whatever he needed for that night so that i didn't have to go out to the room does that make sense so this night comes along normal night like always and coincidentally this night i did not go to the extra room to grab what i needed i was just so tired i we went to sleep so i'm sleeping everything's normal all of a sudden i start having this dream that doesn't feel like a dream 
like it feels like what's what's happening in that moment i was even wearing the same thing like everything you guys exactly the same i'm not even kidding and in my dream ziki's awake and i had to change his diaper so i remember in my dream i, I literally thought to myself like oh, i forgot to get his extra diapers from the other room i'm gonna have to go now whatever like that was literally my thought process in my dream it's like at this point like 3 34 in the morning so i opened the door to my room i remember getting out i walked and i turned to the hall and i saw the light on then i turned back like this and i told leo who was sleeping why did i tell him i don't know but i told leo oh babe i forgot to turn the light off of this room as i'm turning back i see something coming out of the bathroom looking at me like this like with its body sideways all black just dark uh, i don't even know what i'm talking about this <laughs> so i see this thing you guys as soon as i made eye contact i should you guys not i flew onto the bed whatever it was threw me back onto my bed and at that moment when i spiritually landed on the bed that's when i really woke up that's when i woke up and i realized what the fuck i'm having sleep paralysis so then i couldn't move and and i realized okay like i'm awake what the fuck did i just see like and i thought i would had been awake but i wasn't like you guys i don't even fucking know so i'm like trying to wake up leo and i kicked the shit out of him because i didn't know what else to do like i couldn't speak i tried to scream and nothing would come out so i kicked the shit out of him and he woke up and he's like what as soon as he woke up and was able to like move me i sat up and i started bawling my eyes out it honestly felt like i got up and that something threw me on the bed like it felt so real he had to go to work like not long after so then um he's like it's okay like just go talk to your mom like she'll make you feel better so he walked me to my mom's room because i shit you guys not like i couldn't even walk to the bath oh okay so he's telling me like to go tell my mom so as soon as like we get out of the room i look to the extra room and the light was on just like in my like i don't know if it's because i saw it before he went to sleep i don't know but it was on and the door with the door of the bathroom was exactly the way it was in my dream where it was like cracked open and it was pitch black Ugh. after that i was just so scared i was like please don't leave me but obviously they had to go to work so my mom's like look we have to go but if you want i'll tell your sister to sleep with you in my room like that's that's cool whatever so my mom and leo left and it's just me my sister and my my baby so my sister and she comes to my mom's room with me and we both lay down to go to sleep first we're, we're falling asleep and once again sleep paralysis hits this time when it hit me it was like i knew that i was with my sister um the weirdest thing but i was sleeping and it started hitting me again and i opened my eyes um i opened my eyes and i looked right at my mom's door and there was just a dark tall shadow you guys i shit you not like fucking tall as shit probably taller like as tall if not taller than my car and just dark i i didn't see a face i didn't see nothing i just saw a dark shadow at the front at the entrance of my mom's room but the crazy thing is i guess whatever it was couldn't get in the room but it was still bothering me in my dream and so i just saw it and once again like i woke up and i'm like all freaked out my sister's like it's okay like just relax just try to get some sleep you guys i couldn't even sleep after that like every time i closed my eyes my body got stiff and i couldn't move and i it, i was back into that same sleep paralysis and so it was just getting worse and worse and i was like you know what i cannot do this like i'm just not even gonna see my sister had to go to work when she left i kept hearing footsteps all over the upstairs and i was like you know what i'm good i'm not about to stay in this house by myself and i got in my car and i drove to my grandma's house you guys as soon as i got to my abuelita's house like i had already called her that i was coming so she already knew what was going on she did a whole prayer for me she me limpio con el huevo and i promise you guys after that i never had 
with those dreams ever again in that house at least i never had like any experience like that ever again like a few months later if not like a whole year later i did have this one dream um but we were actually living somewhere else at the time and it was really creepy because in that dream i saw the same exact thing that i had saw in the bathroom but it was in a different house so after i had that dream i remember i woke up from it i was like what the fuck like i don't know it was just like really creepy so i don't know to this day what it was i don't want to know honestly um but all i can tell you guys was that it was definitely the most traumatizing thing that's ever happened to me cannot walk by dark corners like that leo the other day tried to scare me he crawled at me almost died and i started crying and i told him like don't do that to me because that's literally what i saw in my dream that night and it was the scariest thing that i've ever seen in my life and i never want to see it ever again and i have never been able to talk about it like this because i've always been scared i've tried to do story time about this at our old apartment and i started hearing shit mid story time so i've turned the camera off i've tried so many times and until right now i was like you know what i'm gonna just tell you guys the story in my car because nothing is gonna happen in my car this is my creepy spooky story time um that happened to me here at my mom's house so yeah i don't know tell me what you guys think do you guys think that it was just a dream or do you guys think that it was actually so, like some dark shit because um a little after this we found out that white noise is how you can speak to spirits so if you listen to white noise be careful you're very energy sensitive energy sensitive and you live in a haunted ass house you probably don't want to put white noise but yeah so i was not aware and so we were listening to white noise and then that shit happened and yeah so i never listened to white noise ever again that is it for my spooky story time you guys and if you are wondering if we still hear things yes we do all the time we have a cleaning lady that comes and she actually and she actually told us that she was hearing footsteps like walking behind her and stuff and we were just like yeah um, it'd be like that so <laughs> i have a lot of more story times about the house if you guys want to hear them please give this video a huge thumbs up comment down below what you guys think do you guys think my mom's house is haunted or do you think i'm crazy because i think it's haunted thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this little spooky vibes october video and yeah Bye. we'll see you in the next video say have a spooky october and don't forget me <laughs> forget me girls don't forget you yeah why because what do you have to say to the girls you're dirty <laughs> <laughs> okay bye guys uh -oh. um so this room is uh, was the extra room that i was talking about where we had like um ziki's diapers and his clothes and stuff so this was the extra room this room was our room so that was mine leo's and ziki's room and that's why i was saying when i came out at night um i would go to this room to get any diapers or whatever so that was ziki's the extra room our room and then this was the bathroom what well, is the bathroom Oh. Uh -huh.